Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to our service tonight. We hope that you can stay with us for the next one hour because we're going to be singing and talking about the Lord and praying and, and trusting Him to meet some needs of some people that might be calling in. We welcome all of you, especially the ones that are uh, sick and shut in, the ones that could not get out and enjoy the beautiful weather. It was beautiful outside, but the allergens was um, busy too. You do a lot of sneezing when you go out at a time like this, but anyway, it's good to know that warmer weather is on the way. So, But tonight we want to concentrate on uh, sharing something about the Lord that will make you want to know Him as your personal Savior. The songs that you'll hear, they will tell you a story. They will tell you about His love and about His goodness and and what a blessing it is to be in touch with Him. So tonight we want to read some scripture, especially for those that are unable to read today because you were too sick or whatever. In Proverbs, the third chapter, this is talking about uh, uh, guidance to young people. You know, young people right now, they're having um, the end of school years and their proms and so forth. And, and I had some of my uh, great grands up here this evening to uh, on their way to school or to functions and uh, proms and so forth. And so I was just thinking about how how at every age in life these rules still remain the same. They will still do for us. It says my, the third chapter of Proverbs. My son, forget not my law, but let thine ha uh, heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck, write them upon the tables of thine heart. So thou shalt find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel, and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the firstfruits of all thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. The first ten verses of uh, Proverbs, the third chapter, telling us uh, how it works. If we honor him, then he's going to honor us, and he's going to keep us in sight. And uh, we were just talking, uh, uh, Dottie and I, uh, before service tonight, how that when we, we pray and we do our best, and then how that we see God answering prayers that we didn't even know to pray for because He is looking out for our good. He loves us much more than we can imagine, and He looks out for us, and He has provided well for us. But we have a part to play in it too, and that is, in all of our ways, acknowledge the Lord, and stay tuned to Him, and then He will help us. Well, tonight, we, uh, if, you, if you want need to call, we have phone operators that can will take your call. So. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your word. We thank you how that you have made, made provisions that if we seek you first, 
then all of these things is going to come to us and how that uh, if we have our ways committed to you then we will know when the answer comes that it came from you and so we ask you to bless all of the young people in our in our country and our homes and in our churches and and schools and so forth we ask you to bless them and help them to always put you first and to this way will safeguard them from a lot of heartaches and so we do pray for the service tonight and those that have joined us bless our singers and our phone operators and lord help us to be able tonight to share enough about you that people will seek you in jesus name amen all right, tonight we're happy to have with us uh, Standing in the Gap. I like this uh, a name because yeah. that means they're not trying to be uh, uh, top-notch, but they're willing to uh, sacrifice and stand in the gap for those that are not on praying grounds, not on able to uh, be uh, in the relationship with the Lord that they need to. But standing in the gap and praying for someone is wonderful. All right, standing in the gap from Maria, Kentucky, 859-302-1563, um, and they're from the Lighthouse Baptist Church in Maria. So right now, let's welcome Standing in the Gap. I know that your arms are 
to be back and so thankful for the Lord to help us with what he's given us to do and we we're not here to entertain yes I always say we wouldn't know where to start but we're just children of God been saved by the grace of God and thankful to be a Christian though so y'all pray for us and we'll pray for you and most of all if anyone's out there doesn't know the Lord please call and get saved tonight it's the best thing ever happened to you
He is the one that can help you through this world and the things we go through. And we're living in a, a sad time right now. And I think the Bible calls it perilous times, but we sure are living in those times now. <laughs> song we're going to do is home and i like to send this out to my alexander family they like it well and uh, it won't be long till we'll all be going home and we'll all be together once again so that's what that song's about it's a long and dusty road that my feet they are traveling on and sometimes all oh, the clouds are dark and low oh but i've got i've got to keep the faith and walk the straight and narrow way to reach that place that i will call my home for oh, my Around the bed, I think about it now and then. Reunions, 
by the millions everywhere. But the one that I so long to see is the one who bled and died for me. My home, my home, a place I long to be. Now so many hold this old world so dear, but I am just a stranger here, just passing through our temporary stay. But I'm looking forward to the time when all of heaven, it will be mine. I watch and pray it could be just easy. the millions everywhere but the one that I so long to see is the one who bled and died for me my home my home a place I long to be for my home is just around the bend I think about it now in the end reunions by the millions everywhere but the one that i so long to see is the one who bled and died for me my home my home a place i long to be vacation everybody goes on vacation but one of these days we're going on the ultimate vacation we're going to be walking on streets of gold All expenses paid yeah laying by the river of life and, but Ron's going to sing it for you and it's a wonderful song <laughs> summer finally gets here and it's a warm time of the year people go on vacation they go far and near gonna take a journey no stop going home for vacation I won't be coming Take a vacation, pass the moon in the stars. Gonna walk down Golden Street, no traffic, no car. Gonna lay in the sunlight, gonna swim by the river of life. Going home for a vacation. If you want to go with me, here's what you should do. Get your ticket from Jesus. He will see you through. Heaven's not on a road map, and there's only one way to enjoy a vacation. Like we'll have some. Take a vacation as the moon in the stars. Gonna walk down Golden Street. No traffic, no car. Gonna lay in the sunlight. Gonna swim by the river of life. Going home for vacation. I'm waiting for my flight. 
song right there in one of the days we really are going to go on it uh, next one we're going to he broke the chains and if you don't know the lord tonight he can help you break your chains it doesn't matter what you're going through or what you've been through or what you're going to go through tomorrow god will be there to help you and he's proved it time and time in my life and i think every one of us could stand here and say the same thing but we're going to do he broke the chains <laughs> Once I was down in sin's dark prison, no one around could lift the blame. I had no hope, no cause for living. Then Jesus came, he broke the chain. He broke the chains. He broke the chains of fear and sorrow. He broke the chains. He broke the chains of sin and shame. He wrote my name. He wrote my name way up in glory. Since Jesus came. Since Jesus came. He broke the chains. From death he came, he broke the chain. And he broke the chain. He, he broke, broke the, the chains chain. of fear and sorrow. He broke the chain. He broke the chains of sin and shame. And he wrote my name. He wrote my name way, way up in glory. Since Jesus came, since Jesus came, he broke the chain. He broke those chains. He broke the chains of fear and sorrow. He broke the chains. He broke the chains of sin and shame. He wrote my name. He wrote my name way up in glory. Since Jesus came. Since Jesus came. He broke the chains. Since Jesus came. Since Jesus came. He broke the chains. Ever seen 
what we'll hear Welcome home I knew you'd come Welcome home You're here for good Look around Was it worth the wait Welcome home, step through the gate. Well, I believe the time is coming, it might be day or night. In the twinkling of an eye, we'll be caught up in the sky. I knew you'd come Welcome home You're here for good Look around Was it worth the wait? Welcome home Step through the gate Look around Was it worth the wait? Welcome home Step through the gate This next song, uh, Lonnie, God gave him the words to this song and uh, so we want to send this out to Mamie and Gillis if they're listening and uh, her church family and uh, we appreciate her church and and we thank God that God is still God and still in control. I went searching for those streets of gold. Look for salvation and the holy word. I was down on my love. Where did it go? Yes, I was headed down a dead end road. I went walking in no particular direction. I was getting close to the end of life's road. Just about to give up on ever finding salvation. Till I found a little church down a dead end road. I found Jesus down a dead end road. I can feel him with me now, wherever I go. A change came over me, it uplifted my soul. Since I found Jesus down a dead end road. down on my knees cause it started to tremble a chill fell over me it was the Holy Ghost they all shouted hallelujah he is delivered and since he found Jesus now he's finally whole I found Jesus down a dead end road Fill him with me now Wherever I go A change came over me It uplifted my soul Since I found Jesus Down a dead end road I found Jesus Down a dead end road I can fill him with me now Wherever I go change came over me it uplifted my soul since i found jesus and i did in road i'm so glad i found jesus and i did in road
The revival was over. He was the last one to leave. He walked to his car in the dark. Got out his key. With that old rag Bible there on the seat by his side. He prayed out. Jesus, I was I was thinking there while I was singing that song. I get emotional sometimes. Amen. I can only imagine what it's going to be like. Amen. One of these days, He's going to carry me home. Yes. I'm not going to have no worries. Not going to have no troubles. Yes. Not going to have to worry about no sickness, no more pain. Yes. He's so good to us each and every day. God blesses Amen. us so much. It's such a small thing that we do for Him to repay Him back. But one of these days, I want to kneel down at the feet of my Savior, my Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. I want to humbly bow down to him and tell him how good he's been to That's me, right. what that he's is. done for me, and how he's blessed me, how he's given me so much in my life. Amen. I love him so much, and I get emotional sometimes, thinking what he's gave me, my friends and my family. You all pray for us. You all pray for each and every one of us that we can do God's will and we can go out in this world and do what he would have us to do. Amen. Pray for our country, the things that's going on in our world today. It's sad when you turn on the news and you see people fighting the hatred and anger that's going on in our world. 
now what we have going on overseas. We all pray for Israel. Just, just keep everyone in, in, in your heart. Just spread the word of love. If each and every one of us could have a kind word to say along our way in life, it would make the world so much better. And uplift the name of Jesus Christ wherever you go. If there's someone out there tonight that don't know the Lord. It's so easy. It's such an easy plan that he has for us. All you have to do is invite him and ask him into your heart and into your life. And I'm telling you, it gets no better than what that he can do for you. There's going to be ups and there's going to be downs. But I'm telling you, there's nothing like living a Christian life for the Lord Jesus Christ. People upstairs that will pray for you, all you have to do is call them. And out there, I'm speaking to someone tonight. I don't know who it is, but I'm speaking to someone. God's laid it on my heart. I know I'm taking up a lot of time, but I have to say what's on my heart, what God gives me to say. No matter how bad things can be, no matter how hard things can be, God loves you. Lord Jesus loves you. He died for you. He gave his life for you. He shed his precious blood for each and every one of us. All you have to do is bow down and ask him. And if you don't know how to do that, if, you're, if you need someone to help you, just call up here. There's wonderful people upstairs, Sister Dottie and the ones that are answering the phone. Just give your heart to the Lord before it's too late. I don't think we're going to be here much longer. Right. On the happy side, we're going to look up one morning. We're going to see him coming down right. to get each and every one of us, Sister Margaret. And is he going to return? Yeah. You all pray for us. And I spoke enough. But you all pray for us that we can do God's will and keep That's everything right. going. Brother Lonnie's going to sing another song here for you before we go. You know, Ron, uh, uh, he, did, he does a surgery in our heart when we, when we turn our life over to him. And, you know, we're a changed creature. And that's what I that's what I like about this song. It's got a good message to it. He did a surgery in my heart. It took the great physician's hand. He's a pain sin had brought And take away that awful shame My life has changed, I will endure In Jesus' arms I feel secure Now that I have a brand new start He did a surgery in my heart Yeah, there's a healing in the blood that he shed so willingly and There's no way I can explain What my Savior means to me He took away the hurt and pain I've got heaven now to gain He did a surgery in my heart When he fixed the broken When I come down to the end, life tolls and heartaches they will end. My family gathered all around, praying the grace was sure about. Heaven beauty I will see. My mom and dad welcome me. Now that the victory has been won. By the blood of God's own Son yeah, There's a healing in the blood That He shed so willingly There's no way I can explain What my Savior means to me He took away the hurt and pain I've got heaven now to gain he did a surgery in my heart When he fixed the broken part He did a surgery in my heart When he fixed the broken part
I just feel led to sing this, and uh, we hadn't even practiced anything, but we just want to leave you. This is our last song, and God's got everything under control, and if you're going through something tonight, I want to tell you, God has had it under control. If you're his child, God, and, and he loves you more than anything, and he loves all of us. He loves sinners as well as Christians, mm -hmm. but I tell you, God's got it under his control. Yes, Whatever you're going through tonight. Mm -hmm. I read in the paper another earthquake has torn the land and famine is out of control. Yes, there's fighting and dying and there's seeing on every hand where it ends the minds of man we just don't know. God's got everything under control. He's still God and he's in charge of his own. I can sleep like a baby. I've got peace down in my soul. God's got everything under control. And your valley may be dark And your mountain oh so high And you've come to the end of your road Oh, just look up to Jesus He's standing close by He's got everything under got everything under control he's still God and he's in charge of his own I can sleep like a baby I've got peace down in my soul God's got everything under control sleep like a baby I've got peace down in my soul God's got everything under his control oh yes hallelujah yes all right thank you so much and that's on uh, the songs tonight have been so good they've Amen. each had a, a different message and it's been one of encouragement so we hope that that it has encouraged you you that you've allowed it to encourage you and god is still in control we sometimes think that evil people do ha, is in control but they're not and so uh, so we uh, we have time for our prayer request now standing in the gap as uh, who you've been listening to tonight and from berea kentucky and and uh, they're from the the Lighthouse Baptist Church and Edith. Sometimes you all do make a, a appearances other places. Yeah, right? we do. Yeah, we're going to be at Terry Joseph Church next Sunday, the twenty third, okay. and then we'll be at Broadhead Head the next Sunday at the Philadelphia mm -hmm. Church. So yeah, we do go different places. So if anybody would like for us to, but one thing we'd you be need glad. is a phone number. We need <laughs> phone numbers. Yeah, we can't come if we don't have phone numbers, Margaret. That's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> and that'd be like me calling you, say, he did to come, but then I, you wouldn't have a yeah. phone number. But yeah. anyway, uh, yeah. anyway, we uh, uh, we love to sing for the Lord and do yes. do yes. for Him. So we uh, well, we have uh, some re requests here. The little seven-year-old granddaughter of Lonnie uh, Lovins. Uh, she's only seven. She's uh, she was put in the hospital uh, today with COVID. Whoa. And uh, she really needs your prayers, a little seven-year-old girl with COVID in the hospital. And from Whitley County, Ruth uh, uh, Wilder has called in $50 pledge to the ministry, and and that's in honor of all of us. And and Alex Miller, she likes Alex. He'll be back mm -hmm. before long <laughs> to be with us, and uh, appreciate that. For, uh, Teresa from Monticello. Uh, 
family, she needs, has medical issues, but they love the singing tonight, so. This is James from West Virginia. He says, pray for his neighbor. Uh, she's lost and pray for him. So she listens to the program all the time. Um, pray for a mother that's in Knox County. She has arthritis really bad. This is from Plasky County. Uh, Sean is uh, on, uh, Sean on brain, June the 8th, two aneurysm. Two he had aneurysm. A, yeah, he had a scan on his brain, he had two aneurysm. Jason from uh, Louisa, uh, cancer hurting around his heart, bless her heart. So they're from Pulaski County. Pray for children, they need salvation and pray for his son. Chris needs to make good decisions and this is our Knox County. So we thank God for each one of these. Laurel County, Beulah uh, was not feeling good, so in a spoken request. This is from Brethy, pray for my brother for God to heal and guide him. And uh, Jeff from Franklin, he needs help. Tell Margaret that he loves her. Uh, this is from Garrett County. Pray for great grandson, special needs child, four months old. Join the program. And this is from Clay County. Pray for his wife. And this is from Whitley County. Can't walk uh, very good. Heart problems, and they just need a touch from the Lord. Uh, God knows all about them, doesn't he? Francis and uh, from... Uh, uh, Lincoln County needs touch. Le uh, Nancy from uh, Flemings has a uh, has a uh, upcoming surgery, so remember that. And uh, a family from Menifee needs a touch. Donald, his knees doing better. His grandpa is doing better too, so that's great. Family members from Laurel, Phyllis, shoulder problems. I got a lot of things going on that God knows each and every one of them. And uh, this is from uh, McKee. Uh, needs a touch. This is Donald from Pulaski called in. Grandpa uh, Stanley Sears came home from hospital. He's doing better. So mm -hmm. that's a good thing. Good. Uh, Tammy from Montgomery County. Her mother has uh, has allergies. So pray for that. There's a lot of allergy problems yes, right now. Yeah. Really. Rose from Laurel. Pray for her. And uh, praying for Sister Margaret. She wanted you to know well, Margaret. You. Pray. We all need prayer, don't we? Yes, we do. We surely <laughs> uh, do. Alfred Clevenger needs prayer. Uh, cellulitis and Goldie and Earl Verger calls from a gambling grain of health problem. So we've got a lot of things to pray about, Margaret. All um, right, and here's one that's really, uh, really serious. Uh, there's a, a girl that's on in the hospital on a vent, and the circumstances is, uh, is really sad. Uh, uh, that, you know, there's a lot of bullying going oh, on. and. That's bad. So this uh, young girl, she needs she needs special help. Uh, Jeff uh, from uh, Franklin County enjoyed the program. His father was Boris uh, Holt and, and knew a lot of gospel singers, but he passed away in '97. Thelma from Madison uh, for the kids and eight grandkids. Tell Edith and Lonnie to sing Memory Lane. Georgia from Corbin, 88 years of age and. Uh, her nerves and her said her hands are trembling wow. and she needs uh, to touch. Philip from Harlan for his sister uh, Elizabeth and for lost loved ones and uh, he appreciates uh, the good singing tonight and that, uh, thank you Philip for that. Mickey from from Knott County Glen has also called dealing with his son's death oh. and we need to uh, remember people on, like uh, 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 the ones that have lost loved ones, um, and they're yeah. It's it's a, a K from Bath for a daughter, and Annabelle from a uh, youngest son is in the hospital in South Carolina, heart problems. So Edith, would you lead us? We'll, we'll pray over these. Everybody agree with us. Now we've anointed them and God knows each and every one of them. So yes, Lord, dear Heavenly Father, we come into yes, your yes. throne with my grace. We ask you to forgive us for any sin. Lord, and we know we bring our petitions mm -hmm. before you. And Father, yes, you know wherever they're needed to be done. And God, yes, you have Lord, a perfect yes, plan and a perfect will for each and every mm -hmm. one of them. Because you know us individually, God. Yes, and Lord. I thank you for that privilege that you do know us. Yes. Once that we claim you as our Savior, you know us individually. And you have a purpose for each and every one. It's a personal one, Lord. Now reach out and touch wherever these yes, are. Lord. If it's a mile down the road, another country, another 
another county or another state, you know, God. Now we give them each to you and we're giving you right now, Father, and we know you're going to take care of them. Be yes. with us, Lord, as we all go our separate ways. Mm -hmm. And Father, we pray for this sin sick world because oh, you know Jesus, we're in trouble Jesus. down here. But God, we know you're coming yes. to get us soon. Yes. We're watching and waiting yes. for you because you tell us to and that's what we're doing. Yes. Yes. And we pray all these things in your precious name, Father. Yes. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you so much. We appreciate all the good singing uh, tonight and the messages in the yeah. songs. And, yeah. and you know, Edith, we, the good news never gets old. No, does no, it, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. it, never get. And it's something that we always God. need. And so we, we really, uh, we really need to be praying for each other and for. Yeah. Uh, because we know the Lord's going to come back. You know, we talked right. about that last night. We know that because He's promised. Yes, He has. And we don't know when, but it said. And we stand that, on that promise. Yes, don't we? and yes. We, we don't want to be found Absolutely. sleeping or idling our time right. away when He comes, because He said that won't that won't right. work. Really. It just amazes me, Margaret, how people's pulling away from God and still grow, drawing nearer to Him. And in to trouble. me, yeah, yeah, they're in trouble, and they wonder why they're in trouble. You know, you've got to you've got to be close to God. Let him yes. move, and, and when you give something to him, give it to him. Leave it there. Don't pick it up and take it back. Mm -hmm. And you know that's what we all do a lot yes, of times. You know, is. and I know there's people out there troubled, and you're going through things. But mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you what we're praying for you. Mm -hmm. And God, God, you know, we I can't do anything else for you, but I can pray. Mm -hmm. can you? Yes, yes. God tells us to pray faithfully. You know. Mm -hmm. so. Yes. Well, we uh, we trust that. Uh, that uh, everything is well with your family, yes. and if not, just keep praying. Yes. Keep talking to the Lord. Don't give up, uh, uh, because you know if you have something medically wrong with you, you don't give up just because right. one doctor can't help you. You continue to search it out. That's well, right. Well, the the one that created us, that knows all uh, right. everything <laughs> about us, that we just keep going to Him and say, yeah. "Hey, we need some help." But we're out of time right now, Edith. So we are going to have to say good night and. Uh, the Lord bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. May God bless you.